Welcome to the French lavender fields in Valençol. It's summer here, so it's incredibly hot and we have these gorgeous rows of lavender with their beautiful colors and strong smell. And we've got thousands of bees around. And for some reason, they don't sting anyone. I've got no idea why. Maybe they're just a bit too busy to be stinging people. I'm here for 10 days. As usual, I have no idea if I'm gonna come out with any nice images. Hopefully I will but I thought I'd bring you along for the journey and I'm going to take you to some spots and discuss some compositional ideas with you. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll get to see if I've captured anything that's worth publishing. As I say, four or five images, I'd be very happy within the next 10 days. So this is my first location. I'm hoping to shoot the Milky Way here. Of course, we've got these beautiful converging lines that take us to this characterful hut and it's interesting tree. And ideally we'd have the Milky Way coming out the top. Now my photo pills app tells me that the Milky Way will be coming right out the top of that building at about 10 past three. The problem with this composition though, it's right down the middle and we've got quite a lot of these yellow plants here, which I think might be wheat. I have no idea what it is actually. And no matter where I shoot along here, these plants kind of break up the really beautiful purple fields. And I don't think that it's a very nice image. So there is an alternative. There are two alternatives, actually. We can go slightly off center. I found a shot over here, which shoots diagonally in. So we have more diagonal lines instead of straight lines that still lead us to this hut and we can still get the Milky Way over it. Or, and that's the galactic center over there. Another alternative is actually a better composition shot at the other side shooting this way. And um, we get these really nice lavender fields right in the front. The problem is we're getting the tail end of the galactic center shooting that way. It might still be bright enough, it might still be good enough. I'm not exactly sure. So my plan tonight is to come back to shoot slightly off center, looking inwards and try and get the Milky Way either right over the middle or slightly to the left of the hut because there might be a bit of dead space in the sky and also just to cover my bases to go down to the front the other side of the hut and to shoot straight on with the hut and hopefully the tail end of the milky way coming out of the top so let's see what happens Welcome to location number two. We found some really nice lavender fields here which lead up to a, a kind of an interesting bush at the background and it's got these two trees either side of it which flank it. And I think that looks pretty good as a composition. The sun sets just to the left here so we might get some nice colour. Um, but I think this is a little bit of a predictable composition shooting all the way down the middle. I'm going to do it anyway but I have a feeling if the sun's out it might be touching closer to the upper part of the field here. Yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit too far away to get that nice light bathing the, the lavender field. So I think I'm going to move in and probably go off center a little bit, or I might stay central. I'll see how the, the light unfolds. But I think this could be quite a nice image. And if I go closer, I think we can get a quite a, an intimate feel with the lavender fields really close and the bush quite close as well. So um, I think this could be a good shot. Very conveniently, this third location is just down the road from the last location we looked at with the bush. Um, we've got a really cool set of trees along here which have a lot of character and help to really break up the image from the lavender fields going towards the sky and then obviously, hopefully, a dramatic sky. And they just sit nicely on, on the horizon there. I quite like this shot, but the lavender fields aren't straight, they're a little bit crooked. And in fact, the horizon's crooked as well. So when I compose my shot, I'm probably going to have to make the, the shot look level with the horizon, which will make my virtual horizon look crooked. But as long as the horizon up there looks straight, it'll be fine. Now, these crooked lines are a little bit off-putting. I am going to shoot a bigger image, as you can see from this example on your screen. 
but I do think it's a little bit distracting with this foreground so I might try and find a different way uh, to compose the shot so we can minimize how crooked the foreground is and I don't know exactly how much light we're going to get on here if the sun is setting to the left we might get quite a lot we might get a little bit it's hard to predict because uh, I think this is typically a sunrise shot so I'm going to be here for sunset and if it doesn't work out I can come back for sunrise which is going to be just over there but I think this could be one of my favorite images I'm going to go straight down the middle it could be a quite a large shot because if we can get some dramatic skies above I can pan up and do a nice panorama um, it's hard to tell because obviously we don't know whether or not it's going to be a nice sunset but I think this could be a good one I think this could be my favorite one I was just driving along the road here uh, in search of a different location and I just spied this tree out the corner of my eye and it really stood out amongst these lavender fields as a you know the single tree that's there it's not being flanked by other bushes so it, you can really see it stand out and I've been looking for a tree for a um, Milky Way shot for a while now and haven't really had any luck so this might be ideal I've used my photo pills app it says we're gonna have a decent Milky Way coming out the top around 250 or even earlier actually if it comes out the top left hand corner I'm not a hundred percent sure about the composition itself the lavender is fine here the paths a little bit too wide and in parts the lavender fields are kind of patchy they're not as thick as I'd like so I'm not entirely convinced I'm gonna get a good photo here even if the sky is clear but I haven't seen a composition from this spot before so I mean it's worth investigating it might not be a good image it might be a good image I suppose we'll see at the end of this video but at the very least um, I'll be scouting something a little bit different it's after midnight and I've returned to this tree location which I'm still unsure about um, we've still got a bit of time before the Milky Way comes over the tree but the conditions are perfect there's no wind like there was earlier so the lavender fields aren't moving much and the sky is completely clear I mean it, it's everything I need for this Milky Way shot the only thing I don't know about is the composition itself I don't know if I can pull it off um, we have got some nice lavender fields it's kind of a bit of blank empty space over there and I'm not entirely convinced about this tree but it's better to be here and shoot somewhere that you know isn't shot as often so we'll see how the shoot goes and fingers crossed it turns out to be a slightly better composition than I think it might be we've arrived at the end of the trip now uh, we've been in France for quite a while and I've seen a lot of lavender fields and you're about to see the photos that I produced so you can decide if it was a successful trip or not but I feel pretty good about it all of the images were edited with Raya Pro and Instamask so if you want something extra to help with your post processing in Photoshop you should check out those plugins and at the end of July I'm going to be releasing a new photography course which is going to show you how to shoot process and plan images and it's going to feature some of the photos that you've seen in this video so if that's something you might be interested in keep an eye out for that on my YouTube channel and stick around now to see the final images to see if you think they're any good I've also included one final image at the end for a location that I didn't feature in the video so until next time, thank you for watching, see you later.